MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell is joining the right wing's ridiculous attempt to rescue treason Trump now that the Mar-a-Lago warrant is public because Attorney General Merrick Garland called Trump's bluff, and it's no shocker that the guy who bankrupted a casino also sucks at poker. We now know that there was an FBI informant at Mar-a-Lago, an FBI informant working at Mar-a-Lago. Who is that and how many other FBI informants are around President Trump on a daily basis, working at his clubs, working at Mar-a-Lago, or maybe bed minister, or on his staff? These are the things I want to know because they're traitors. Bed minister. <laughs> well, the gazpacho policewoman set her peach tree dish aside to declare someone sounding the alarm over a genuine national security threat to be a traitor. Because if you wanna be a real patriot, you need to cover your car in flags, pose with weapons, march with tiki torches, scream at teenagers, and get on your knees in makeshift jail cells. It is pouring MAGA tears. Donald Trump painted his orange self into a corner and things aren't looking too good for the party of law and order. Mike Lindell references several films in his bonkers attempt to stand up for his hero. Don Jr. defends his dad's stash of documents and I review the latest and stupid from Lauren Boebert and more. The guy who uses a credit card all day but never spends a cent tweeted, It's almost hard to believe how stupid these people are. They take time out of their day to do this? and can't name a thing. Just sheep following their media dem overlords. What of them? Naturally, I replied, have you seen the stupid people who took time out of their day to riot at the Capitol because your defeated diaper dad fed them blatant lies about the election? Just sheep following their Cheeto overlord. Uh, you all seen uh, what happened uh, down in Mar-a-Lago? What a just disgusting. But on the on the uh, optimistic side, um, I had friends call me today and texting me and saying, this is, this is, you know, some of them, one of the guys, you know, I don't care too much for uh, President Trump, but this is disgusting, what this country's came to. A lawless, lawlessness, and, um, and it's, uh, it's a third world country. I mean, what this country's came to. Yeah. I think Tom Selleck's slow cousin doesn't realize that his friends are texting him about Donald Trump being lawless and how that is disgusting. No level-headed person can agree with a former president taking these documents for his personal collection, especially one who likes to impress people with secret stuff. Donald Trump is under investigation for espionage, obstruction, and removing government records. Top secret documents don't belong at a resort with 100 temporary foreign workers making $11.96 an hour. Nothing to lose, everything to gain. This is like the easiest secret mission. I highly doubt the guy who can't even figure out how to close an umbrella was trying to decipher if any of his support staff was actually a spy who mastered a weed whacker. This is not a Jason Bourne or a James Bond movie. This is Mission Possible. The FBI recovered 11 sets of classified documents and also included in the list was information on the president of France. Yes. The president of France, Macaroon, wanted to tap Melania, so I tapped his phone and I found out a lot of secrets. He was speaking the France language though, so I had uh, Don Jr. and Eric take a battle course to decipher the recordings. And when that didn't work, I hired someone on Craigslist to do it. And the information we got was, it was terrific. Let me tell you something. Does everybody see the movies where the robots go rogue? Remember, that, you know, some of these movies? Oh yeah, a robot's more efficient. But what about one that goes rogue or that's hacked to do bad things? Does everybody think of that? You know, this is where we're going. You can do it. Think of the technology where you're going to use these technology things for evil. The Sue Your Toaster guy is still raging against the machines and confusing summer blockbusters with reality. But at least he's figured out robots is one word. It got to be where machines and computers took over in robots and artificial intelligence, all this stuff took over in robots and took over in robots and Saudi Arabia pumped two billion into Jared Kushner, a billion into Steven Mnuchin, and partnered with Donald Trump for the most expensive golf tournament in history. Guys, take a look at this. Wisconsin's very own Trump gown. I had this made. 
a woman from Berlin, Wisconsin, made this. I brought all the fabric for it and had it made. And it represents God and country. It represents President Trump. It's a thank Hey, lady, if you're going to sew a genuine Trump gown, lay off the fabric because Diaper Dawn requires a short skirt. There's no way he'll be able to get down and pull up that much dress to grab you by the Hey guys, I just knocked white powder all over the floor. Well, it seems this Kimberly Guilfoyle left our little pocket mirror with all the stuff on it and the door was open and we had a draft and it just all blew away, gone. The Saudis didn't just invest billions for golf and Kushner. They wanted <laughs> a lot of top secret nuclear intel and the Dems are pissed because the left didn't think about it. They don't have the business mind to sell all these valuable things to the Arabs. Cash, money. <sighs> I grew this scruffy facial hair so I could look more like Justin from Canada and that way maybe Ivanka would consider just maybe being with me in a different way. I can't help it. Yeah, I'm out in the woods because my father had me hide several other documents here because if the Saudi deal falls through, we need to find another buyer like Iran, North Korea, or China. I'm just, I have a list of people that we'd like to deal with if we can. You don't just ring them up and be like, I have all the binders and folders. <laughs> they want pictures. So my father and I, we Skype, we iMessage, we Facebook, we give them everything they can, but they want actual proof. And then out of nowhere, the FBI just shows up and takes all the boxes away. Yeah, thank you. All the Saudis want our nuclear intel. Why wouldn't we give it to them? We would have to be like the worst business people in the world not to give away the top secret documents that we've kept at Mar-a-Lago. That is what we're doing. That is all we're doing, okay? But the Dems just don't get it. Oh, oh, Don Jr., he's just my brother. I can't go there. Well, look at other people in the Republican Party. Look at Giuliani, he's kept it in the family. So I don't think it's really fair that she's doing this to me and locking me out when I've actually grown the beard. I look scruffy, I am totally Trudeau. I learned how to say a couple things in French. Just give me opportunity for quality time. I ran it by Kushner. He is on board with every position I suggested. We don't have to hit every base. I just think it would be nice to go on my poached bearskin rug. I've got a finger, some wine, ketchup. It could be magical. First base, maybe second, and just sort of go from there. <sighs> it's just, I'm at a loss here, guys. This big charade of the January 6th um, committee, I mean, that... Everybody, this judge is dirty. The judge that did this, he's dirty. He's dirty as a day is long. He, the guy's a dirty judge. He's a bad, bad man because that's the only way you look at the deviation. Who ordered the, it's kind of like that one movie, who ordered the code red? This judge did. And now we found out why he did it. He's got some bad stuff he's got going on. In the film, A Few Good Men, the judge didn't order the code red. Colonel Jessup did, and again, that is a movie. Stop trying to use films to back up your arguments. Oh, and where do these people get this idea about the dirty judge? From the entertainment channel for married cousins that uses a doctored photo of a judge when reporting on an FBI investigation. So a picture of Bruce Reinhardt. This is the judge in charge of the, of the, uh, of the, uh, as you know, of the warrant. And we'll see if he's gonna release it next. He likes Oreos and whiskey. Sean. Here is the real photo of her with Epstein. And again, that same woman that they're using to make the judge look bad is the one that Trump said, I wish her well. There are so many fantastically embarrassing things about this situation, including that one of the laws covering the mishandling of government information is one that Trump himself amended. In January 2018, Trump increased the punishment for knowingly removing classified materials with the intent to retain them at an unauthorized location. Previously, someone found guilty of this crime could face up to one year in prison. He bumped it up to five, making it a felony level offense to mishandle classified documents. Exactly what he's been doing. The sharp-chinned woman in windowpane glasses tweeted, A.G. Garland personally approved the raid on President Trump. This is nothing short of a coup. Naturally, I replied, you personally approved an ankle monitor wearing skin pickle exposing husband, drunkenly leaving the scene of a crash, deducting the circumference of the earth in mileage and serving rancid meat at your unlicensed rodeo stand. Bien, pero el burro va 
el último. The mob takes the fifth. If you're innocent, why are you taking the Fifth Amendment? When you have your staff taking the Fifth Amendment, taking the Fifth so they're not prosecuted, when you have the man that set up the illegal server taking the Fifth, I think it's disgraceful. Have you seen what's going on in front of Congress? Fifth Amendment, Fifth Amendment, Fifth Amendment. Horrible. Horrible. It's been a big news week, and I don't want it to get lost in the shuffle that Trump took the fifth over 400 times. We, we, we put way too much trust in our local and state officials thinking they were doing the right thing by us. Right. I, yeah, yeah, that's true. We, you know, I guess Fox can only be blamed for the present. Um, but, I, but you're right. Um, you know, I had a good excuse because I was on drugs back then, so I wasn't paying attention to much of anything in politics. Didn't even know much about it. I didn't think politics affected anything. And, uh, but I, you know, as I looked across, I remember in 2006 or seven and uh, looked out my window one day and I said, wow, all them new houses up, how do they afford all that up there? Jobs, Mike, they afford that up there by working hard. You know, then Obama came in and uh, tried to divide the country. And I think that was the start of things waking up. You know, even though there was started with dividing a country and destructing and destroying, um, I think it's been a process here, but now they've gotten so blatant, like with the Mar-a-Lago. He just said he had no idea about politics because he was on drugs, but at the same time, he figured out Obama was the great divider. Hey, that guy just got elected. He doesn't look like me. Divider. Or is it a steak sandwich? I don't get my laughs from bald YouTubers. Mega tears. Where's Hunter? Mega tears. Save America, vote red, save your children, votes all these slimy snakes out of office, do it for your children's future, give them the great country we grew up in before these snakes cheated and stole our country. The Democrats paid Hutchinson well to commit perjury. Mega tears. When Lauren is president, guns will be mandatory and libs will be gone. Mega tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video or posting it on your social media. It'll cost you nothing and makes a huge difference for me. If you can afford to, please hit the super thanks button or tip me via PayPal and be sure to check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries. I've supported Jim Jeffries on five of his tours. I have three albums on Spotify and Apple Music. Be sure to check them out. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.